Can't say I'm not a little jealous. Thanks, Dan. Well, it's hard to miss the countless videos of people dumping ice cold water on their heads, and it's all for a good cause. But what exactly is ALS, and why are we all freezing to fight it? Chloe Juan, a doctor here, is a, is a, a neurohospitalist, right? Is that to say that right? Neurohospitalist. Neurohospitalist, excuse me, with Intermountain Medical Center in Murray. She joins us this afternoon. So, talk to us what exactly is ALS? Because I'm sure there's plenty of people on Facebook during this challenge that don't even know what why they're doing it. Right, uh, absolutely. Uh, ALS is a neurodegenerative condition uh, where specifically the nerves and the neurons in the brain and the spinal cord as well as the ner uh, nerves going into your muscles, uh, the uh, controlling motor function uh, are not functioning over time. Uh, there's not a clear cause uh, or mm. a reason that we know of right now. Uh, there are some dispositions uh, in terms of genetics and maybe some experience Exposure, uh, but right now we don't have a clear answer as to what causes this in people. And Dr. Juan, that may be why it is so devastating when people get that diagnosis. Is it, we don't know if it's genetic, we don't know if it's um, something that you're eating or drinking or smoking, I mean there's just, we don't have a lot of answers for that right now? Right, uh, I think uh, as with a lot of uh, diseases, it's an interplay between your genetic predisposition mm -hmm. as well as environmental exposure and we don't know all the factors yet. About 5% of people do have a genetic form of ALS, but that leaves 95% who have sporadic forms where wow. we don't have a very clear reason of why it happened. What are some of those symptom signs for somebody who has sure. ALS, the, the typical case? Uh, so the typical case of ALS usually starts in one limb and what you notice is muscle wasting uh, and weakness in, uh, in that either arm or leg. Sometimes it can also start with the voice and swallowing. So people may have a hoarse voice uh, or have difficulty with swallowing uh, liquids and solids. Um, weight loss sometimes can happen as well. And over time, this may be something that spreads in the body to involve other part of um, you know, the other arm, the other leg, um, or involving the voice or the breathing and so forth. Uh, one of the other things to look for is, um, is excessive muscle twitches. Mm -hmm. I think we all have muscle twitches here right. and there that you know, jumps when we're tired, yeah. uh, but it can be excessive in uh, the case of ALS. When someone is diagnosed with ALS, it's almost a dooming um, diagnosis because we don't have a cure right now. Absolutely, and it, it can be a dire diagnosis. Uh, however, there is actually a lot of treatment. There is an FDA-approved medication uh, that has data to say it can improve uh, survival mm -hmm. um, and improve function. Uh, certainly, it is not a cure, and people uh, still have a drastically shortened lifespan because of ALS. Uh, there's also a lot of multidisciplinary approaches in terms of physical therapy, uh, speech therapy, um, non-invasive ventilation to help those at the later stages of the disease uh, to help with breathing and uh, cognition function and so forth. So we know that this is affecting people all across the nation. That's why we have these ice bucket challenges to bring awareness to help with that research to find a cure. If someone's watching this right now and they say, okay, I want to learn more, I want to know more about ALS, you guys have a great website people can go to and find out more information. Uh, there is the MDA, the Muscular District Association and then there's also ALS Association um, uh, that's available for more information. Right. Dr. Juan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Brian, back to you. Thank you, Nadia.